<laughs> all right, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, tonight's Sex and in the City is all about how to wear the color of love properly. That's right, right, Natalie? Okay, right. so Natalie Sexton is here to break it down for us. That's right. Well, red is such a great notice me color, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not just for Valentine's Day. It's not just for the holidays. It can be worn all year long. So I'm going to show you some great ways to wear this. Okay, awesome what are we color. starting with? Okay, so we're starting off with red dresses. So a red dress is great for work or for the weekends. I love it in a wrap style in a jersey material. It's really flattering and in an A-line uh, style is really great too. You want to keep your accessories to a minimal and let the dress be the standout piece. And next we're gonna go to red pants. So a pair of red pants, whether it's denim or, or dress pants, I think they're a great addition to any women's wardrobe. And they look fantastic paired with neutrals like black or gray or white. And it's a fun change from your basic jeans or your black pants. And you can wear these on the weekends again or to the office. And then red shoes, which I love. I think every woman should have a pair of red shoes in her wardrobe. And it's a great way to amp up your denim or you know your basic pencil skirt or dress. And if, you're, if you don't wear heels, you can get these in a nice ballet flat or a booty. And then next we have a red scarf. So this is a really great time of year to wear a red scarf. And I love the infinity scarves, or you can wear an oversized pashmina and you can wear it as a shawl as well. And you can experiment with different tones of red. If you don't want sort of this bright tomato red, you can try burgundies or orange reds. You'll find what works best for you. And then next, my favorite is red lips. So every woman can wear red lipstick. I think some women are a little bit intimidated by the color, but there's a red for everybody, a fairer skin tone you want to go for a brighter coral red for that great pop of color and a medium skin tone you want to go for more for cranberries and they'll really bring out that really nice gold skin tone and then darker skin tones you want to go for burgundies um, and you can also go for brick reds anything too bright will be sort of harsh okay and you actually showed us how to wear and apply the red lipstick, right? I did, yes. Because it, it can be difficult for some people. Absolutely, yes. So you want to start off with a primer, okay? And then you're going to use a lip pencil similar to the color of your lip color and apply that all over your lips. And then I've taken this great red and I'm applying it with a lip brush for a nice even application. And then you want to blot it once and you can either apply another coat of lipstick or you can go for a gloss. And if you're going to do the gloss, I would say just apply that right in the center of your lower lip and just give it a little together and you're all set to go. So you can go glossy if you're a little nervous about doing a deep lip color, go for a gloss and just apply a little bit in the center of your lip and, and you're done. So you can sort of go as dramatic or or as soft as you like. Well, I like to see that you say that everyone can wear red lips because that's the one thing a lot of people say to me is, that's right. oh, I love when you wear red lipstick or they don't like it. And then they say, that's right. but I can't wear that. Right, no, there, there's a red for every woman. And, and I do think that blue-based reds are really flattering for every skin type. And they'll also make your teeth look whiter. You want to sort of avoid those orangey, warm reds. They'll actually make your teeth look sort of yellow. So blue-based reds work for every woman. Okay, and uh, so with that though, what about when you're wearing a red dress? Well, when you're wearing a red dress, right. can you still go with the red lip, or is there a rule? There, you know, I, I generally, I don't like to say that there's a certain rule that you have mm -hmm. to follow. Um, I think it looks great when you match them up. If you're going to be wearing a deep, dark red dress, go for a softer red that's sort of on the pink side. And then if you're going to do a dark, maybe burgundy lip, go for a softer red. So you want to stay in the same red tones, but not necessarily match them exactly. Yeah, that would be a little too 80s for us, right? I think so. Okay. I think so. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thank you for that, Natalie, once Thanks, again. Kate. And if you have any ideas, please feel free to send them to us. You yes. can at tips at chch.com, T-I-P-S, or write to your website at sextoninthecity.ca. That's right. Yes, right. we've been getting some really great ideas, and so keep them coming. Okay, Absolutely. sounds good. Thanks, Thank you, Kate. Natalie. We'll take a short break. Eric's back to sports right after this. America Gage, Thomas Vanek, and the Buffalo Sabres look to continue their winning ways with a date at the Bell Centre against the Montreal Canadiens in a Saturday matinee in the NHL. Highlights coming up in sports.